When it comes to Earth Day, which is next Monday, by the way, there are many ways to celebrate and to take note of Mother Earth. One of those ways might be to patronize a particular winery that produces wine in a green way. <laughs> and here with some examples is side dish columnist and co-founder of Dallas Uncorked, Haley Hamilton. Hello, Haley. Hey, ladies. Hi. You brought some stuff with you today. I did, well, I did, and, and thought we'd kind of talk in general terms about a handful of different wineries that really believe in making wine that is as good for the earth as it is for you, because uh -huh. obviously I think wine is very good for yeah, the earth. Yeah, I hear that. Um, well, and, and it's interesting, the whole, um, wine wasn't always even thought about being made in an organic way, and, mm -hmm. and when these winemakers really started saying, you know, my family, my kids run through these vineyards, our, our vineyard workers' children work these vines, uh -huh. and so you really wanted to start thinking, okay, you want to you want to breathe air that's clean. So, and, okay. and just in particular, like the Benzinger family, I think that there are like 200 different Benzingers, 40 of them all work in the, the winery. Uh -huh. There are a lot of people mm -hmm. that are their own family that are that are exposed to what's going on in the air. And so these wineries, um, Benzinger is a fantastic example. Um, Lang Twins, we're actually gonna have Randy Lang on in a couple of weeks. His winery in Lodi is a former, his former family watermelon. Oh, really? Um, um, Garden. Up, yeah. uh -huh. And now they're, um, they're growing vines for the last 100 years and they're made organically, sustainably. Um, Colton Novo is, has been actually around since the, um, the the middle um, mid ages it's oh, been mid around since since, since like, like 1051 or something. Oh, <laughs> even yeah 1051 um, okay which one is that and this That's one not the, finely aged wine right? <laughs> <laughs> um, and they not actually this particular bottle yes, they <laughs> actually started making um really kind of transform um transferred everything to more of a an organic process in the 1980s. Mm -hmm. um, the climber, you, your Cliff Bar family um, from Cliff Family Wineries. Oh, this wow. is what we actually have in our okay. class. Uh -huh. um, well, I love those Cliff Bars. Well, and the Cliff, <laughs> that's the the nice thing. They have a, a fantastic garden. They mm -hmm. actually have a CSA also for their Napa neighbors that you can come and get garden boxes. Um, really, kind oh, of that's just neat to know. focusing on on what kind of 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 elements go into the wine that also will then go into your body so you really live it's in a very food. clean clean way so when we say it's for medicinal purposes only it really it is in this case is. right yeah it truly okay. is. Um, did bring a couple spirits also because spirits are also really getting into this whole thought of you know how can we make our spirits cleaner and better right. new one that actually is just um, kind of coming into the market that is produced just up the street up in Louisville um, is this Texas star um, honey liqueur and it's made from uh, it's, it's a honey liqueur made from bourbon that they distill, and then they add into, into it round, wa round rock wildflower honey. Oh it's my a goodness. raw okay. honey from Round Rock, Texas, and I just think it's, it's really, really kind of sweet and caramely and beautiful and is really it yummy? fun. It's very, very good. Uh -huh. um, a couple other ones. Hophead is from Anchor Distilling, which is Anchor Brewery something um, in San Francisco. They, uh, they wanted to figure out how to actually repurpose their hops for their beer, and so they put it into some vodka. So what does that mean? They, they made the beer and then took and then, what was left over? And then, and then kind of steeped it with- um, Can you imagine? Recycling. Exactly. I know, well, you could do well, for, do good for the economy and, and drinks. For, exactly, well, and I think it's, yeah. that's I still wanna try this. This okay. is the climber? Yes, this yeah. is the okay. climber, and it's, mm -hmm. an, it's a red blend, um, predominantly Merlot, oh, made delicious. in a very old kind of world style. Um, aged 18 months ago. And the ago. packaging is so gorgeous on this model. And then I this it. last one. Yeah, I've what is about, that? That's different. Yeah. I've talked about Art in the Age um, on here a couple times before. I love their products. They have a root, they have a snap, they have um, a rhubarb tea, Ooh. and they just came out with oh something called Sage. And they're 100% organic. They're made um, from sugar cane based. Um, liqueur that is then um, all these different organics and medicinals kind of oh, things wow, are added wow. to it. You so. just sound like Mother Earth herself. Well, yeah. I, I, I think <laughs> I go home and cook and drink. And drink. Yeah. Yeah. And drink right. is yeah. even better. Absolutely, so, yes. And Seriously. you can find Haley on the Side Dish blog on dmagazine.com or by visiting DallasUncorked.com. I like that. That's cool. Thank you.